at Disney, when we see artwork like this on the walls in um, the Epcot experience, it doesn't leave many question marks. I mean, uh, 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 right? Yes? Today is another magical day from Walt Disney World. Today we're starting it off at Imageworks in the Imagination Pavilion to see what's new and what's coming soon. The area behind me you'll recognize as the exit of Figment, but to my left over here, exciting changes are coming. This area is currently closed as we reimagine the future of Epcot. What could it be? Possibly a new meet and greet? Hard to know, but that is definitely new. Now it's true that there is a tremendous amount going on here at Epcot from those construction walls right over there to the reimagining of several different attractions and some new things that are going to be brand new like Space 220. We'll get over there in a moment. But one area that I keep coming back to and I wonder what Disney might be planning for the future is this area. If you don't recognize this area, you are not alone. It's that water jumping area right next to the Imagination Pavilion with a great overlook here of the monorail and some construction walls that uh, they're working on right over there. So in the future, the this whole building won't even be here anymore. That building will be gone. We'll get a clear view of Space Earth. So I'm wondering, possibly, could this area be used for something brand new that we don't know about yet? As we consider the reimagining of Epcot, we have to consider areas that really don't get as much use as they used to. And I know I'm not alone here when I say that I hope the jumping fountains stick around. I really, really, really enjoy this area. And I'm enjoying it more and more the longer I'm here. I just love just watching the water. Every so often you can catch some as it's going by and not get soaked, but uh, some kids sometimes get soaked, which is kind of funny to watch. But the, uh, the overall feel of this area, in my opinion, is magical and I hope it doesn't change too much. The upside down fountain looks totally different from this side. See how the water's coming up this way and on the other side it's the upside down fountain. It's so cool. Speaking of updates we're not 100% sure about yet, take a look over here. This fenced area with the land pavilion right behind it has been under construction for some time now. And we can see two construction vehicles back there moving dirt around, getting ready for something. We're not 100% sure what it is yet, but I really do hope it's something interactive with guests. Very hopeful. Now there are plenty of question marks when it comes to the future of Epcot. One of them involves Figment. Will Figment still be the staple in the Imagination Pavilion, or will he possibly be joined by other characters, another different attraction, an updated attraction for Figment? Only time will tell on that one. Now I would imagine that if there is an update to Epcot, the ride track right here would remain the same. Disney's pretty good at retheming that same ride track. Never saw that sign before. Precision Vision Division. Nice. Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! <laughs> With just that spark from me to you. As long as Figment's part of the future, I'm gonna smile. Now added to the list of things we're not so sure about yet, when will construction begin on some of these big things? Like that big building that's going right over here, which I'm still calling the Dreamer's Point building, right over there. And then what's gonna happen to this grassy area during flower and garden and other times of year? Is it going to be closed off for construction or still left open while the building is going up? Big question mark. Do you remember the Starbucks that used to be at Epcot? It's called Fountain View. Great Starbucks. A lot of us loved it. It no longer exists in total. There's there's no building anymore. <laughs> That's where it used to go, right back there. It is not there anymore at all. Some construction equipment over there. And if you take the monorail, you can actually see the Fountain of Nations is no more as well. Amazing to see the progress that they've made in such short time. You can see the building look pretty standard over there, but there is a giant chunk taken out of the building right there where Fountain View Starbucks used to be just 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 take a big claw just just took right out of the side of that building really impressive to see it just goes to show it never stops it never stops despite the fact that these walls are the same every single time as we walk in the walls every time what's happening behind the walls is constantly changing it's amazing every time i walk into this area close to mission space and test track i feel like there are more walls up every single time all right looking to our left over here that's cosmic rewind we're getting a little closer in a moment see the walls are following up along here i feel like these walls right here with the you know on the grass are new. 
Th those look new to me. I don't know. But then there's some right over here by Mission Space. Those, I think, were there before, all blocking that area back there. Again, feels relatively new. And on the right side by Test Track, these walls have been up for a while, blocking that restroom back there. Tons of work over there. It's just, it's amazing how much is going on. Here's a closer look at Cosmic Rewind. Take a look at that building over there. You can see the roof of it has been totally changed. Either those are maybe solar panels, possibly. I, I really don't know. But there's some kind of black layer right there on the top. And then you see the orange, kind of those orange, I'm going to call it side of the building over there. Kind of a throwback to Ellen's Energy Adventure. And then it all follows back toward the Cosmic Rewind building, that big blue building back there. Very cool to see. And if you're on the monorail, when, when you're, uh, if you're on the monorail, you can see it really clearly out the window. Wow. Here we are by Mission Space. You can see it right there. The wall for it is right behind us. So there's, there's the wall. And kind of in between, you've got the Play Pavilion. Under construction, the formerly known as the Wonders of Life Pavilion. The small blue corner building is the Guardians of the Ga Galaxy Cosmic Rewind building. And then back there, it's extremely difficult to see. There's, there's another building, uh, either under construction or being renovated. I have a feeling it's going to tie in to the new Play Pavilion. So I'm guessing you kind of go through this one but not 100% sure yet. We'll find out more soon. Here we are by Test Track, and one restaurant that I am so excited about is Space 220, right back there. You can see the circular building, and you can see it extremely well from Test Track. Very cool to see. There's a yellowish building right next to it. I have a feeling that's maybe just like an exterior that needs to be painted. I have a feeling the outside won't be anything unique. It's what's inside which will make it super special. It's going to feel like you've launched into space and you're floating around enjoying a meal. The opening is now going to be, I think, February 2020. So still super excited about it. Looking forward to special silverware, special menus, special experiences. I want to be one of the first in there. Honestly, that, that rest has been on my mind since they announced it. Now we knew the donut box was only here for the Food and Wine Festival, totally understandable. My question is, are they going to leave something here at the Cool Wash throughout the year? We had that cool slushy station, which we had the opportunity to try once this year. Definitely want to try it again. And I'm wondering, I mean, they, they could, they could leave it open year round. I feel like it would get used year round. Just a thought. Now, one way I like to look into the future and ask more questions, because that's what we're doing at this point. We don't have the answers, we have a lot of questions. You can take a look at this, again, Dreamers Point building, that's what I'm calling it. And there's the Moana Adventure of Water. Very, very cool to see. What is this pink? What's this pink walkway for? What, why is that pink? I don't know, but I'm interested to see if this possibly has something to do with more water. It, it looks like there's water somehow connected. I don't know, maybe it's a walkway. I, I have no idea, but I'm very excited. Now, speaking of that upside down water fountain we were talking about earlier, take a look, you can see it right there. But what's that? What's that right up there next to it? Is that something new, something we don't know about yet? I don't know. Another good question, is that the new monorail right there? Come on, Disney. Is, is, that, is that the new monorail? Be honest. Take a look, there's the Guardians of the Galaxy launch building right there, and then next to it, here's that play pavilion. And outside, there's this, I don't know, a virtual structure? I'm not so sure. And then you go into the play pavilion itself. Super cool. Now, one piece of art that I thought was super smart here, as you can see, look, here is Mission Space. Awesome. What's this right next to it? We already know that Space 220 is going there. What, what's that? That is the virtual elevator, the space elevator that we're going to be using to get up to Space 220. I love the fact that Disney kept that authentic look with the space elevator, and I have a feeling it's going to feel super realistic. Now, I had to triple check to make sure that there is no official word at the time of filming about the future of Mexico, Mexico Pavilion, new rides in there. But at Disney, when we see artwork like this on the walls in um, the Epcot experience, it doesn't leave many question marks. I mean, uh, it, uh, right? Yes, I, I think so, yeah. So Coco at Mexico, it's not confirmed, but yeah. Now, as much as that sign may convince you to say that it's definitely gonna be Coco at Mexico, don't jump to conclusions too quickly because you still have the Grand Fiesta Tour with Epcot. That being said, you've still got the parade and the uh, 2000 with the Mickey here, so it's meant to make you think, make you question what could be coming. Now, I know there are many rumors about a future addition to World Showcase in another country, I and mean, that's been rumored for years, for years, not kidding. So, do I think one's coming? Yes, I have no idea when, only Disney knows. So we, we can continue to assume what might be coming, what the future might bring, a surprise, maybe for next D23 in Anaheim, but for now, no new countries. The more and more I look at that concept art in the Epcot experience, 
I'm pretty sure at this point, this entire area where I'm standing now is where that, uh, and I found out it's the Festival Center building. That's what I'm gonna call it now. Festival Center building is going to be. So that means the water play area is now gonna be transformed into the Moana, Moana area. So this area will no longer exist. Literally where I'm standing is where the Festival Center will be. That's an interesting thought to think about. And in that concept art, I could also see flowers, flowers right there on the, uh, on the grass. So I don't know if it's the same grass, I don't know if it's going to be there, but at least they'll have some flowers for uh, around this area for Flower and Garden. I was talking to one of the cast members inside the Epcot Experience about how cool it would be if the monorail went through the Festival Center building, but I, nobody, nobody thinks that that's going to happen. So that's just an interesting concept. It's going to be in front, in, in this side of the monorail, but monorail will be totally separate from it. She also mentioned that they would need to shut down the monorail for a long period of time and if it really interfered with it at all. So I would imagine there's going to be a bit of space between the new Festival Center building, which will be here, and the monorail track. Entertainment at Epcot has always been rather unique and the Jaminators are no exception to that. The question is, where will they be in the renovation of Epcot? This is a sing-along. I love it. Always makes me so smile to see the Jaminators. By the way, the name is the Jaminators. I call them the Jaminators a lot, but the Jaminators. Another big question mark for us revolves around this wall right here. Guest Relations is right behind us over there. Spaceship Earth is right in front of us. What's this for? We don't know. I would imagine it has something to do with Guardians of the Galaxy, but we really have no idea. Right across the way from Spaceship Earth, there's more construction near the restrooms. The restrooms are right behind us in that direction, but you can see there's some walls right here. We're not 100% sure what they're for, but they're all around and they kind of lead to the Seas Pavilion, which is right over there. Not 100% sure about that either. A lot of question marks. Now there are fewer question marks about the entrance to Epcot. We have a general idea of what it's going to look like. It's a now a matter of timing. And will this area here be updated first? Or perhaps this area will be left alone so the guests can use it to get into the park. And the other side will be fully updated. And then this side will be closed off to match it. We, again, don't know those kind of timelines, but I do like the fact that there's nothing here, at least for now. These are going to be very unique shots because eventually this entire area will have that new overlay with the, the grass and kind of these planters all around. Imagine this style planter with the presents and all for the holidays all around this area here. So if you're here when there are no planters in this area, I recommend that picture. Really do, because you look back 20 years from now and say, look, I was here for the construction of new Epcot. Do I think we're gonna call it new Epcot? It's, it's possible. I, I believe some of these changes are so dramatic that we may end up calling it that. Now, knowing what's happening on the ground level is essential, but I feel like you can get a better perspective of where things will go from the air. So let's take the monorail all the way around and then back again so we can see what's happening from the air. Here's a look at some of the construction right here, right by the entrance. There's Joffrey's Coffee right there, Cosmic Rewind Building, and this area right here. What will it be? I have no idea, but if I had to guess, it's part of the tram on the other side of Epcot. So this could be the other tram stop they're building up right now. Now we're gonna take a look at the fountain right by the entrance and see the progress of it. So look, here's that new tram route right here, the new security checkpoint. Can't really see it, and that's okay. And then there's some construction right below us here, and then here we go with the entrance. Now the entrance here is going to be modified as we know. But look at this, right over the construction walls, you can see see those are coming along extremely quickly here you can see the fountain there as well coming apart really amazing to see here's some more construction right here super impressed don't know what's going on you can't really see but there's dirt and there's uh, definitely some areas being built back there here's the construction right by the restroom here you can see there's a lot going on they're just kind of digging up this area I have a feeling it's going to be something brand new that is gonna surprise us all here's some more construction look at that next to interventions this entire area is being ripped up right there. That's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Take a look at back out there, you can see where Fountain View Starbucks used to be, and uh, the update, the Fountain of Nations, which no longer exists. There's no fountain there at all. It's been totally removed 
in lieu of something brand new. Now this area should remain relatively the same when we're here. The character spot over there I'm sure will be moved in the future, but you can see a little bit of construction right behind these trees, right back over there. You can see something's going on over there. Take a look at this construction right next to Spaceship Earth. There is a lot happening, but it's hard to tell what's going on. Maybe it's just an expansion to the entrance here, but you can see a ton, ton going on. There's so many pieces of machinery being put together. Look at right back there. There's more of those planters, the uh, circular concrete items, and then take a look here is a much closer look at that fountain by the entrance which no longer exists and those planters back there which will be filled with flowers as soon as it's done but it's coming along super super quickly very impressed to see it overall i am super impressed with the progress of the construction by the entrance here by the looks of it it'll be ready in a few months that's how fast they're coming along with that progress. Wow, I'm so glad we took the monorail to take a look. Now with so much construction and new things being put together here at Epcot, let's not forget about some of the classics that haven't even been touched yet. They're gonna be revamping Spaceship Earth and other attractions which haven't even begun construction. So lots more updates to come. This construction is gonna continue on until 2021 at the earliest. It's likely gonna take a little bit longer than that. I'm looking forward to what Epcot holds in the future. And I'm hoping that there are interventions and innovations like this we can see in the future that will really surprise us and leave us in awe of what Epcot has to offer. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. Oh, 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 oh,